Hi right, guys, this is Nemesis 6001 and... The Avenger 5006. And today we are playing Civilization 5, Gods and Kings. Uh, that's the expansion pack for the other, for like the original one. It all, you know, comes in with it. We are going to play together, Hot Seat, a multiplayer game where two players take action turns on this machine. Let's do it. I don't really know how to do it, so number of cities, let's go 12. Let, let's... Map size, let's, let, let's do like a... A fairly big one, so it's not over too too nice. So we'll do standard. Start on the original era. Oh, lovely. Don't really know what this means because there's like three to five billion years or random. So I'm just gonna leave that at four. Um, what's this one? Temperate. Well, I don't really know why that would you know change anything, but you know, rainfall, normal. What? Aha. Uh -huh. Well, I said acid. I was like, okay, sea level. I don't know what this one does either. I don't really know why that matter. You know bit of a worms game we got going on here. Uh, what's this then? Resources. I suppose you change the map, doesn't it? Oh yeah, well, it, oh fall, yeah, I suppose it could have. Uh, troops and all you sorts, could have, you know? have more of like a sea battle, I suppose, yeah. Um, I've never played this game before in my life, so this should be an interesting battle. I've taken off time victory so we can, you know, dabble around a bit. Right. I'm not going to bother touching any of these because uh, they scare me, and there's a lot of things. Alright, DLC allowed, we've got all of these, it's all good, so, uh, host game. Right, random leader, uh, this is going to be me, uh, who am I going to be? I tend to be Elizabeth of England, you know, go, go with tradition. Or Gandhi, the, uh, warmonger. <laughs> um, oh, uh, got a bit of Spain going go on. Go with Napoleon. Oh, the Nebuchadnezzar. Ooh. Ooh, Matrix. Take, takey, cheeky. Um, Oh god, um, I know that if you play as Gandhi, like, instead of using horses, that you use elephants as, like, war people, it's, it's, it's really weird. Um, let's, let's go with, let's go with, uh, you know what, England, this is my area. I don't know what that is, so, oh, wait a minute, no, I don't know what that is. You can pick teams, right. Human. Um, again, we'll just leave that like that. Who do you want to be, Fat Man? Well, I'm going to have to go with the most aggressive uh, out of them all, of what I know, and it's going to have to it's going to have to be Attila the Hun, I reckon. Attila. Right at the top. Oh, uh, uh, was it? Yeah. Attila the Hun. Oh, God. Right there. Ah, the Huns. It's he the is pretty filthy. One of the most aggressive people I know out of history, so you know. We'll have random AIs for the rest of them as well. Um, well yeah, that'll be all right. Uh, I I hope this game's on easy because I'm I'm also new to this game, so um, yeah. I think ah oh, wait yeah, the difficult game. Oh, okay, whatever. Let's just do this. So basically, you're I, beautiful. Again, I'm, <laughs> I am beautiful. Again, I'm not sure how this game is going to work, but you'll pick up stuff as I go along, and I'll also give you a hand. It's very similar to Rise of Nations. At first, it's very confusing, but it, you learn it very quickly. You pick it up quite quick. Yeah, which oh, is that's nice. what I like in a game. Add part. Wait, player one. Next turn, player one. Continue. Right. So it's me first. There's marble there. Some cattle there. This is not a, a particularly amazing space, but. I've got some more areas to start off with, so go send them off. Oh, bit of copper. These are my settlers, the ones who uh, like set Build. up cities. Ah, I see. Um, I want them to be quite near the copper, so if I move them up there, then after you, all of your people have done your moves and everything, you hit next turn, then it'll be your go. Oh, I, I get it. I get it. That's quite nice. So, you ready? You've got quite a nice little area, so I'll let you have the uh, the old mouse. Can you reach it? Nope. There we go. So, what am I supposed to be doing? So here? you've clicked on the settlers, as in with the circle around it. Yeah. Um, you can right-click anywhere on the thingy to like move them to it. Oh, where's it? Uh, they're obviously your warriors with the little axe on it. The that color is your color, so anything with that is right. you. This is all like these special resources. Like eat all bit of land will like give all you right. something, but they're like main things. Um, if you're happy with setting up a city there, just click on that. But obviously you don't have to. Don't want, oh, I'm going straight in there. And obviously this is your border here. That's your city. They're your warriors. You can get yeah. them to do something if you want. Like explore a bit of territory maybe. Uh, let's 
Go up there. You can uh, only like move a certain amount with each like thing. Um, that will come more apparent if you click on that. Choose production. This is like what your city's doing, and you can get them to do whatever you want here. So you ah. know, monument or scout or another warrior or worker. Worker, you will need at some point, but you know, prefer maybe not now. It, it really depends. You can go straight in for a worker if you want, but that's how many turns it will take. So each time you click on whatever, that's how many turn turns. Um, I'd probably go for a scout first because they're yeah, the, I was that. the quickest ones to build, and um, yeah, and then choose research. Uh, and Ooh. I'd click on research tree if I were you. That one. And then have a look at you can this is all the stuff. Oh, you, yeah. you for Pottery. some reason you for some reason already have that, which is kinda weird, but you know. Well on the it. hunt, you see, yeah. Well, yeah. And then you can pick any one of these green ones and that's what you'll learn. Like these are all the like stuff that yeah. like it costs and also you'll gain. And uh it's also how you evolve through the eras, like uh, ancient, yeah. classical and all that. I think that. I'm gonna have to go with the mining. Alright then, now that you've done that, just hit close in the corner, bottom corner. And uh, that will finish doing that in 10 turns, and uh, you're done now, so you can hit next turn. And then all the other players will have their go, as you can see from down here. Tells you who's going on. There are also barbarians in this. They don't own to anyone, they're just knobs, basically. Right. And they'll come around so and So they're like bandits and Fallout and that. They just sort of sit there and you don't know what the fuck they're doing. Yeah, pretty much. I hope I can still set up a city. Yeah. Alright, so I've got London. some nice copper in there. Oh ho! One done. Wow, Indeed. your town's too small, I like. Your town seems smaller than mine. No, it's all the same. It all sets up because there's the square in the middle. Then it surrounds one square outwards. Oh. So one, two, three. I don't know why I say square. They're like they're um, what are they? Circles. Pentagons, pentagrams, whatever. Um, Pentagons. I'm just gonna, you know. Oh, there's an ancient ruin right there. If you get any any of your people to go over there, you'll get like a, an advantage kind of thing. Ah. Oh. So well, who's a bastard then? <laughs> I'm going to build a scout as well, and also. Because I'm not cool like you and don't start off with no horse riding um, or animal stuff, I'm going to do that. And then next turn, this is you. And then now you do whatever you need to do this turn. Right. Hmm. I reckon I'm gonna move my troops up, up, up a bit more. Oh. But yeah, those are the ruins there. There's got oh. a cheeky. You've got a quite nice little spot actually, you little bastard. Right. And just hit next turn, really, if I were you, because you can't do anything else, so... These are all the players up here, yeah. obviously. I think I may be last. Yes, I am last. And I am first, enjoy that. I think that's probably because you set up your town, like, first, so actually that's also a point. Have a look on that. Um, yeah. Right then, oh, I'm just out of reach. Uh, well, if I go there, I can uncover a few more things. What's that? A bit of silver, cheeky, and uh, I'll just go straight into my next turn. And it's you again, Batman. You can hit next turn straight away if you want. If you just want to keep your troops in the same place, but I'd advise going for the ruins for the moment. Yeah. Heading up there if you can. Also, until you have more soldiers, try not to make your soldiers go too far away from your town because yeah, that I'm leaves not going to. yeah vulnerable. So next turn, if you go, if you like go onto that, you'll be able to um yeah get its uh, properties and then just hit next turn. And yep, and this is basically how it's going at the moment. It's fairly simple, not um, much going on, but yeah, extra ruins, got whatever that is, and it just basically gives you like um, thingies. Oh, like um, perks. Yes, I warn you, non-military units, in other words, workers, can be stolen from you. Be rude. So if you have a worker that's working and then an enemy. Like uh, cavalry men or whatever, go up to it's your turn. By the way, go up to the um, like are on the same square as your workers. They the workers become property of that nation until you kill the thingies and then take them back for it from for yourself. What bastards! Fish. Did you Yay. just get? Did you just get like a massive part of the map discovered for you? Yeah. You cheeky bastard. Got a nice bit of sea right next to you actually. I could build some warships. Yes. You need to be like your borders need to be on the sea for you to do that. Do I need to build a bigger town then? No, but what you can do is if you click on this, yeah, and then hit buy tiles, oh. all the stuff around there, this is your money up here, so obviously you only have 15, not much. And uh, like all these things, do different things like that's production, that's food, the yellow stuff is gold, and uh, that's what you get for buying that tile. Ah, oh, I see. So to get money, I take it you need to build it. Well, at the, up. at the moment, you're getting 5 gold um, per turn, and that will obviously increase. 
um, the more you play and the more stuff you buy. Right. Also, you need to keep an eye on your town's happiness as well. Right, then. Like, they'll become unhappy for certain things and happy for most things. I haven't found that very difficult so far, but... Right, yep. then. Piers, shut up. Yep. And as the game goes on as well, you'll also see all these are a question mark. Uh, we'll, uh, as we run into newer nations, they'll introduce themselves and we can, like, talk to them and do all that. Will they try to kill us? Not all the time. Sometimes they will try to, um, like... Form a... Thingy. But, a for truce. but, for example, if you talk to a nation who is friendly with... Who is, um... If you, if you become friends with a... If you become friends with me, and there's a nation that doesn't like me, that nation will get a bit angry at you kind of thing. They won't necessarily start a war with you straight away, but they'll be like, oh, I don't like this, this isn't going well, and then you can just be like, fuck off. <laughs> I'm the Huns, bitch. Right, um, I am. I'm not entirely sure what I should be doing. At the moment, until there's, um, until, like, uh, things start to progress a bit more, you don't really need to do much each turn, so you can just, um, if you move your guys back near your city, yeah, like that, and then just hit next turn. Really, I mean, in three more turns, you're gonna have scouts, and then you can also send them out. So each turn, oh, they'll, yeah. just, they'll just walk around and discover things for you. They'll be like, "Yay!" Which is handy. I'm just gonna get my guys like into uh, into my city, and then I'm gonna like if you, if they're like up. I think it used to be that if you're if you had like warriors on top of your city, and then would like hold them there, so they would just stand there and guard it. It makes the city stronger. But, you know, that may have changed, and all that, so, um, yes. Right. I reckon I should just go back into the city. Like, oh, just, well, yeah, that's all. Head in there, good boys. Right. I've yet to see any females, I feel this is a pretty mean game. What? What do you mean, and not see any females? Well, all the warriors, as far as I can tell, are all men. Yeah, I don't actually think there are any female, like... Any female things. I've actually managed to see is Queen Elizabeth. I'm the fucking queen, bitch. Come at me. Yeah, I'm a ruthless killer. I'm a barbarian. I have the British Empire. I have a beard. Well. <laughs> I have boobs. I have... Yeah. I'll win that round. <laughs> you win. If you don't want all them right. to move outside your border... Hit the uh, sword and shields, and they'll stay alert, which means they get um, more defense. Like, if they have this shield around them, they have more defense from anyone trying to attack them. Alright then. And seeing as you're in your city borders, you're pretty safe anyway, so just hit next turn, and next turn you'll have some scouts. I love this game. Boosh. Right, next turn I'll have some scouts as well. So, um, I wonder. Still can't afford anything. You can rename your city as well if you want somehow. Edit. So, yeah. I'm going to rename now. my city next round. I'm going to think of a great name. Right, so now you have some scouts, I'll let you uh, do this. If you just click on your scouts, I think they've already been selected, but if you just click on their little icon. Mm -hmm. And then if you go onto these little arrows down here, yep, click it. And then if you click on the cog, yeah, that one. It means they'll auto explore and all these clouds will slowly start to go away and you don't need to worry about them anymore. Uh, uh, then if you click on that, Again, you can pick another thingy hmm. to what you want. This is the culture of a city. Yes. The city territories. I might inquire with that. Yes, that's probably a good idea. And in ten turns you'll get that, in three more turns you'll have mining. All of this stuff becomes a lot faster eventually. Oh, I'm going to rename a town. Yeah. That town, what is wrong with you? <laughs> Um, just to warn you as well, uh, your gold has gone down, and that is because you're spending it on, um, like, military units. Uh, so you get, like, five from the output of your cities, and then five, and then you're spending one on maintaining these units, and you have to keep spending units. So, for example, when you do buy a tile, try and get ones with these gold on it, because then the workers can do stuff. That's something you should probably do at some point as well, is get some workers out. Are you done Indeed. with your, your uh, I am, I am, actually. I'm rather happy. You've been replaced, sir. Rude. Yes, yeah, very rude indeed. Oh, I've got some scouties now. Um, it looks like I'm just gonna have to kill him. That's uh, <laughs> it's, it's the only way to go, I think. It's not very, it's not very nice. I'm a barbarian. What the fuck do you think? Oh, there's a bat. Oh, there's a um thingy camp, the barbarian camp. So I rape them. Go in there and kill their mums. 
I'm going to send some guys over in that direction. Hopefully they'll be able to take care of them because they're in their fortified shelter. I am going to build some 